hi in this video we will talk about how to do basic arithmetic in prolog okay so as you already know like prolog is mainly a language for symbolic computation right so over here like the the need for the arithmetic operations will be much much lesser compared to any other language um, we know already okay so so the different operators in prolog arithmetic is also very simpler in nature but there are a lot of things we need to understand over here when we will be doing arithmetic in prolog so let us talk about them today so we will start with a very simple stuff so let's say we have an expression something like this one x equals to 2 plus 3 okay so if i just run this one here in prolog so currently i'm using is wi prolog over here so if you see like prolog returns me the same stuff over here okay it did not evaluate 2 plus 3 and then give me x equals to 5 so why because like this this equals to is a matching operator so what prolog when, when prolog basically finds this kind of expression over here so prolog knows this know about this plus okay it can do arithmetic operation that means it know about this plus over here so that means it is basically taking it as a complex term like it, a operator is nothing but a complex term in prolog we will discuss this one very thoroughly in the next video as well so let's say plus is an operator over here with two argument two and three over here right so prolog is treating this one as a complex term over here okay and this one as a variable over here it does not have any any goal to satisfy over here that's why it just returns me this one over here okay so so that means we need something to evaluate this expression over here right so that that operator is called is 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 so if i write something like this one x is 2 plus 3 dot so what will happen now if you see it like we are getting x equals to 5 here that means this guy is is basically forcing prolog to evaluate this particular expression over here now as i said plus is an operator or complex term over here with inputs this one over here right so we can write the same stuff as x is plus as an op operator like just like we write a normal predicate in prolog right simple stuff plus is let's say plus is a predicate with two inputs two and three two comma three so if i write something like this one i will get the same value over here for x over here and this is is actually forcing prolog to evaluate this expression as 2 plus 3 over here that means it will basically return 5 over here now when we be when we will be using is so there are a lot of there are at least one main thing you need to remember over here is because if you see it like if we just reason through it the is is the is operator is basically forcing this expression to be evaluated right so that means whatever numbers or if we are using any variables over here so everything has to be instantiated before this one getting evaluated right otherwise it will it will throw an error over here one thing this is one thing so let, let, let's see that so if i just say x is okay so as we can write interchangeably like 2 plus 3 or plus 2 3 anyway because both are same because for the for the arithmetic operations we are used to of writing this expression right right so that's why prolog supports this one as well otherwise this is the normal way of writing stuff in prolog right writing predicates in prolog so that also you can use it so i am just i'll just use the normal way we write arithmetic expressions okay so if i just write something like x is y plus 3 over here okay and write it down if you see it like you should be getting error something like not sufficiently instantiated over here as i said because is operator is forcing this expression to be evaluated so that means prolog is expecting this y is also instantiated with some values over here okay so this is one thing and the second thing is if i write something like this one 2 plus sorry i did not write 2 2 plus 3 
2 plus 3 is x like I'm just trying to write it interchangeably over here okay so this this may not this will this will not work as well okay because the same reason like x is not instantiated over here right so is operator we may think of it something like as an operator where the first argument is the left hand portion of the argument right this x over here and the second argument is the 2 plus 3 which we are giving it over here something like this one over here right so even like if we just write this plus into this term this form so the whole operation will write would look something like this one over here right so this is how it will be working over here so we have seen two limitations of using is one is the right hand portion of the is every variable everything has to be instantiated and the same reason actually is like you cannot use this term here in the left hand portion of the is and in the right hand portion of the is you cannot use a variable over here because anyway that variable will not be instantiated over here okay so so we got an idea about is now if we just talk about various operators available in prolog so it the list of operators are very very less over here because the same reason like prolog is not a mathematical language right it's mostly the symbolic language over here so normal operators like plus we have seen it already so you can use let me give an example of let's say y is 2 asterisk 3 so this asterisk is actually basically the multiplication operator over here similar way it supports the subtraction as well or in terms of division if I just say x is 3 over 2 okay so if I run this one you will get x equals to 1.5 over here that means it's it gives you an answer, answer in, in real number as well so now mainly in prolog programs we will never encounter like most of the times we will not encounter real numbers mostly we will be encountering integers over here for an example like if you want to get the length of a list or something like similar problems right so we, we may get we may encounter a lot of integers but not real number very frequently over here but prolog still supports real number over here as you can see it like it's giving you answer in in in, in real number decimals over here now if you just want to know the remainder over here so you can you can write something like x then the modulus operators so x is 3 div 2 over here so this will give you the modulus over here and and similar way like as we do in mathematics so prolog supports the precedence of the operator as well right so if i just say x is 2 plus 5 asterisk 4 correct so what will be the answer it will first do the multiplication then it will plus 2 over here right so because prolog knows this precedence over here so it will do this calculation accordingly over here even you can write something like this one as well x is 2 2 plus 5 you can use brackets over here just like we do normal mathematical operation so this is also allowed over here we will get the same answer over here okay now similar to this is operator the comparison operator also force prolog to evaluate as well so let's say i write something like this one 2 plus 1 greater than 4 plus 5 what will be happening it is false because 2 plus 1 is 3 4 plus 5 is 9 over here right so this is so prologue is basically this guy is actually forcing the prologue to evaluate this two expression and then do the comparison over here okay if you see it like we have not used any ease over here but still it is forced mathematical operation just because of this greater than over here okay so there are numerous comparison operator like greater than we have already seen so less than is there then greater than equals to we have it we have less than equals to but here the equals to is before the less than and we have a matching operator something like equals to colon equals to 
okay and that means x will be the value of this left hand side of this expression will be same as the value of the right hand side of this expression it's a matching operator but it also evaluates there we'll see that one an interesting example and not matching is basically equals to then backslash equals to over here okay so let's let's take an example so we we talked about two matching operators one is equals to and another is that equals to colon equals to over here so we have already seen x equals to 2 plus 3 here right so it did it did not evaluate over here so this equals to operator does not evaluate any mathematical or arithmetic expression over here so that's the one thing okay now if i just write something like this one 3 plus 4 okay equals to colon equals to 7 plus 0 so if i write something like this one it will return you true because it evaluates the left hand portion as well as the right hand portion over here then it basically compare it over here okay that's the difference between these two guys over here and if you see like for this comparison to work if you are using any variables over here so that has to be instantiated over here as well okay but in this case it prolog may try to instantiate that variable over here for an example so be before that let us let us see this interesting one as well so if i write 3 plus 4 equals to 7 plus 0 at as it does not do any kind of evaluation right so it will return you false over here either uh, even in reality both are same over here right but it does not do any kind of evaluation over here so it is just treating it as a plus functor with two inputs three and four in the, in this side plus functor with input seven and zero over here right so so as i was saying like for equals to if you are using variables it may try to instantiate it as well so if i just something like write something like this one one plus x equals to y plus two let's say okay so if i just run this one if you see like prolog instantiated x with two and y equals to one to make this particular matching work over here right and if you see it interestingly like it only give you a single answer right x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 it did not give you the other answer like it could be happening like x equals to 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and y equals to 2 2 plus 2 is 4 as well right so it did not give that answer because it does not evaluate this one over here right so it's just trying to using that matching it is just trying to match the left hand portion and right hand portion of this equals to operator over here so that's why it, uh, it just instance instantiated x equals to 2 so that this expression becomes 1 plus 2 and y equals to 1 so this expression will also become 1 plus 2 over here so that it will match over here so it just do that portion only okay so that's the difference between this two operator equals to colon equals to and equals to operator over here which we need to keep in mind now as this operators like this one or this is operator so we can use this operator in our predicate as well like for an example if you see this one we have a predicate called square okay so if you give the argument first argument so the second argument will have the square version of that right if i just pass 3 over here so the value of y will be 9 over here so the predicate this is the way we have written like y is x asterisk x over here right that means we are multiplying x two times over here to get the square over here right so that is what it is so if i just want to use this one here so i will write something like s q u a r e right so let's see if i just give 3 9 so as we know it it should return true over here right but if i just write 3 and then pass a variable over here so it should be instantiating that variable as 9 right just like the other predicate works over here it is also working but here we have used this is operator to force evaluate 
they are as well okay so so this this version right so so this version of this operator this is actually giving us to see any kind of arithmetic operators as a complex term over here so let us try to deep dive into this one and in the next video what we'll do is we'll try to understand how these operators are developed and what if we want to we want to create our own operator how to do it in prolog okay probably we'll see that one in the next video so hopefully we got the very basic idea about how arithmetic works in prolog so in the, in the next video we'll talk more fun stuff about this one okay see you in the next video